Hey Community Natural Foods, today I'm going to teach you a quick and easy way to roast a whole chicken on any weekday. So let's do this. We're going to start by giving a, a couple incisions into the dark meat, such as the thigh and the drumstick. Just like so. What this does is it helps the dark meat cook faster and evenly with the white meat. So you don't get an overcooked uh, piece of white meat and an undercooked piece of dark meat. Now we're going to place this into a frying pan just big enough to hold the chicken. Alright, we're going to drizzle uh, about a tablespoon of olive oil over the top of the chicken. Then we're going to generously season the chicken with salt. Make sure you coat the whole thing. It's going to give it a nice crispy skin. Now some freshly cracked black pepper. We're gonna add a nice generous sprinkle of paprika. It's gonna help give it a nice color and help bring out the natural chicken flavors. All right, we're gonna put the chicken on a medium heat for about 10 minutes uh, so we can get that dark meat cooking and uh, start it before we put it in the oven. And while it's cooking, we're going to put the oven to 375 to get it nice and hot for the chicken. Now I'm gonna pop this into the oven for 45 minutes to an hour. Now this looks delicious. So let's remove the chicken from the pan. I'm gonna check to see if it's done. You can use an instant read thermometer to check the temperature of the chicken, or you can check to see if the joints move freely and see if the juices are running clear. And I'm gonna take a look here. And it looks like there's still a bit of blood in the joints. So I'm gonna pop this back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. And if you're using an instant read thermometer, you wanna look for 165 degrees Fahrenheit for an internally cooked temperature. All right, juices are running clear, joints moving nice and freely. Chicken's ready to be eaten. So we're gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes before we carve it up. The reason we let it rest is to allow the juices to relax and the meat to relax. And because if you cut into it now, the juices are gonna go all over the board and all the good flavors gonna go everyone. It's just not gonna be a good time. So we're just gonna let it rest for 10 minutes. All right, that's up 10 minutes. So now we're gonna start by cutting off the drum and the thigh. You'll make a little incision uh, between the thigh and the chicken breast to cut the skin. And it should almost just fall apart if it's cooked correctly. The, the joints should just pop right out. There shouldn't be a whole lot of cutting. It's more of like pulling a chicken apart. To remove the breast from the bone, all you need to do is follow the, the rib cage of the bone by slicing down the side of it. Keeping the knife tight to the breastbone, just work your way down the side of it and the breast will come off. You can keep the wing attached or you can also remove it. When you keep the wing attached to the breast, it's actually called a chicken supreme. And when that's removed, you'll have the carcass left over and what you could do with that is actually make a bone broth and there's a recipe right here, somewhere on the screen. You can click the link to it and uh, we'll show you how to make a nice bone broth. And here you go, a couple of pieces of chicken, ready to eat. And if you need to get a few more pieces to feed a few more people, you can also break down the chicken even further by cutting the leg into two pieces. Let's give this a try. Oh yeah, foodie out.